Tour de France fans, Niwadama takes home polka dots, amazing feelings. Walking through the mixed zone in PAL wearing her polka dot jersey, Kasha Niwadama, Canyon Shram, had a relaxed smile on her face while answering the media's questions. At first glance, her 2023 Tour de France femmes did not go much better than the 2022 edition as the 28-year-old finished third overall again, but if you look closer, Niwadama closed the gap to the once-dominant Annemiek van Vluten, movie star team, won the mountain classification, and most of all, raced with panache, going hell for leather on the Col de Spin descent in a courageous bid for victory. Being able to be in the front and not be caught straight away on the Termola gave me extra motivation, strength and in some ways a, fuck yeah, feeling. Niwadama was happy with her performance on the queen stage of the race. On the final day, she was then faced with the task of defending her second place in GC against Van Vluten and Lot Kopecky, Team SD Works. Niwadama was disappointed to drop down in GC on the final day but happy she stayed on the overall podium. Instead, there was a good mood in the Canyon Shram camp on the Place de Verdun as riders, staff members, and fans, all clad in polka dots t-shirts, listened to an impromptu speech from Niwadama where she thanked everyone for their dedication before toasting to the podium in Mountain Jersey with champagne-filled paper cups. We have a lot of good young riders who bring an amazing spirit to the team and show feistiness and fierce vibes. Having Magnus and the young riders changed the whole dynamic. When you have the same people working with you for years, you have the same patterns, and bringing extra triggers makes you want to aim for more," Niwadama said. Before her polka dot raid in the Pyrenees, the Stage 5 victory of Ricarda Bauernfiend had been the highlight of Canyon Sram's tour and racing with her younger teammates brought a different atmosphere to the team. Having them around me, the whole team was in good spirits, even when we had days where we messed up, but we tried to change it for the next day or turn it into a joke. And Ricarda's victory boosted the team's mood and confidence, Niwadama explained. Turning 29 in late September, she is slowly but surely becoming one of the older riders in the women's peloton and Niwadama revealed that she probably wouldn't keep on racing for as long as Van Vluten.